Hey, what's up, gang? Hope you're doing well. I got a couple of important updates for you. Number one, um, the MLB Players Association and the owners are going to be meeting late this week or early next week to go over the this continued negotiations on the most contentious stuff, threshold, you know, penalties, and 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 I think extend the playoffs and a couple of things that are, that they're kind of far apart on um, service time and all this stuff. So that's a good sign. Uh, they are meeting today and tomorrow to discuss some of the less contentious components of the CBA, but that are still relevant that need to get ironed out before they agree on a new CBA. So they're doing that over the next couple of days, and then they're going to transition into the more intense stuff. So one of the uh, less contentious things that you know have been talked about is universal DH. They seem to be both on the same page, and I'm hearing um, directly from John Heyman that uh, look look at his Twitter as well that unless something barring something crazy happens or some epic collapse is going to be universal DH in 2022. So that could be good news for a lot of teams, especially the Yankees, because there's some guys here who don't necessarily have a fit anymore, like Miguel Andujar and uh, Luke Voigt. And they could, you know, there's going to be 15 new spots in need of new bats in the in the um, in the National League. So it create it creates opportunities, and for other guys as well. Uh, but I think those two guys, and, and, and even to a lesser capacity, maybe Gary Sanchez could be moved to a National League team. You know, who knows? I mean, they might be able to package guys like Andrew Horn Sanchez to a national team with some other prospects or something and like the Marlins for, for a pitcher or whatever. But it just creates opportunities. Imagine Luke Voigt there or, or in Colorado hitting bombs or whatnot. This could be a good thing. So, and that could lead to some more moves, particularly with the Yankees. So that's a good thing as well. But it sounds as if uh, that's a go, a green light for 2022 Universal DH. Um, obviously, we're going to wait for them to announce it themselves, but looks like it's happening. And lastly, um, recently retired Cameron Mabin. It sounds as if he's going to be joining the Yes Network. And I know there was already speculation about it before a couple weeks ago, but it sounds as if he's going to be joining the Yes Network as, as a uh, commentator, broadcaster, why not join, uh, teaming up with Carlos Beltran and some of the other guys. So that could be a good thing. I've always liked him. He's a good player. He's a good personable guy, and I think he'd be a good fit there too. So he also sent that on, on his own Twitter. Thank you to Michael K. So... Um, you know, unless I'll wait until they obviously officially announce it, but it sounds as if that's about to happen as well. So those are the updates I have for you right now. I will keep it coming pertaining to these meetings that they're having regarding the lockout. And if anything breaks, you're going to know, obviously. So don't leave without subscribing to the channel. And if you hit, if you enjoy this content, please hit the like button too. It's really helpful to the channel's growth. So I appreciate it, and I'll keep it coming. Talk to you next time.